Hey Bobzerg. It's me, Joder, what's up? Not much, slow day here at the office. How about you? The delegates are still in session, so there's not a lot to do yet. Hey, have you heard about what happened at the Galactic Sports Championship? You mean with the humans? I heard that a fast food chain on Nebulon offered free menus for every gold medal won by a newcomer species, and they filed for bankruptcy yesterday. But the news coverage is awful this year, especially for the events in which humans participate. So nobody knows much. Of course they don't. We are covering it all up. It's madness I tell you. We didn't know much about humans, border species, and they usually keep to themselves. They have some reputation as mercenaries, but that's it. Of course, we have data on their biology, and their diplomats seemed friendly enough. But we made a mistake, thinking all humans were like those ones. The guys they sent to the GSC were freaks Bobzerg. Someone filed a complaint for multi-species representation. And the human team had to go through DNA testing to disprove it. They had giants, man. And then others that are like half the size of regular humans. And skeleton people, but with muscular legs. Heard what happened at the laser carbine competition. Yeah, a human female won, perfect score too. But they are off the charts on visual acuity, so that one was a given. Sure, what they didn't tell is that she was blind. Like, she could tell if it's day or night, but that's pretty much it, blind. She later said that she just practiced for thousands of hours until she could hit the target every time, and that seeing it would only distract her. Why would a blind person even try to become good at shooting? Who the hell knows? Makes no sense. Oh, and the free fighting competition, was that on the news? Barely. They just said there was an accident, and the human team was disqualified. We have the footage here. First round, one of the big humans against a Gagori. Now, you know Gagori are tough bastards, they evolved on an acid world after all. Well, it goes like this. They got in front of each other, and when the bell rang, the human just jumped a few times, and then punched the Gagori right through the chest. Just, right, through, him. You could see the human's fist on the other side. And I don't know who was more shocked, the audience or the human. He looked awfully scared, and he kept repeating that it was Yastehad. What's a Yastehad? We don't know, a human deity of war, is our best guess. Luckily, the Gagori survived, with all those redundant organs they have. So the committee just filed it as an accident, and disqualified the human. Then there was this issue with the race event. You know how it goes, whoever covers 30 kilometers fastest, wins, and you can take as many breaks as you want, to account for different metabolisms. Well, one skeleton human won that one. Just like, breeze through it, skipping all stops, straight from start to finish. I swear, he didn't even look tired at the end. So, when the press got to him afterwards, he just said we have our races wrong, and that the correct distance for a race is 42 kilometers. Apparently, in the human mythos there is this story of a guy who runs that distance. So they just thought it was a good idea to keep doing it. That's stupid. It's like we try to lift a 200 kilos rock, just because the ancient hero Oglog did it once. It's clearly fiction. Well obviously, humans are that gullible. And the skeleton human also said that the ancient guy was a wimp and that he can run over twice that distance on a good day. He was clearly exaggerating, but still. And don't get me started on the throwing competition. The humans were disappointed because there was only one event. Apparently, on their planet they have like eight different kinds. They throw sticks, stones, and other kind of stones, obloids, and each other. Throwing stuff is huge among them, that's what I'm saying. So what happened is that, this huge human got the ballistic sports ball, spun it around himself, and threw it with a battle cry, that still gives me the chills, when I think about it. You know the results, those are public. But just so you know, the defense department is working on a draft to reclassify humans as artillery bioweapons. All in all, the humans swept the GSC. They just lost on competitive crawling, altitude flying, and deep sea diving. And they ended up second in that last one, before two anaerobic species. 
they also said they are preparing a crawling team for the next time. So, what's the word around there at the council? What do you think? They already agreed to double the defense budget just in case we ever get on their bad side. Now they are discussing if we straight up surrender without terms or we play it cool and try to get a better deal. Wow, the universe is a crazy place, Joder. It sure is, Bob Zerg, it sure is. Author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.